Hello, I'm Linda. Welcome to my little corner of the YouTube world. The title of this, these, these YouTubes is Getting Older and Being Older. Both of those things have become difficult for the people who are, let's say, over 50 or 60, and for those who actually are elderly, like me, I was born in 1950, so I'm 71 years old. So I'm going to talk about what you look like, what you feel like, and how you're perceived by others. I'm going to tell you a few things that I've learned that are backwards from what I was taught. I've learned it, they taught it to me, it wasn't right, and I'm here to say that you're probably going to agree with me and you may not. When it comes to clothes, which I'm very big on, uh, I have a channel for thrifting, for fashion. Um, I'm very big on, on dressing yourself and getting into it. Now, some people really don't care about that stuff, but I find that mo most women do and, and most men. Um, I'm passionate about clothes. I have been since I was a little girl and it, that passion never went away. So we have what we think about ourselves partially as a reflection of what we imagine others think of us. First of all, clothing is important. Looks are important. I'll tell you why. It's a community thing. It's a way in which we've evolved. Survival of the fittest kind of a concept. But when men are picking out a mate, women are picking out a mate, they look at the best looking person because that is supposed to genetically predisposed that you have the best babies. So it's a biological urge that we have. It's not because we're superficial or dumbass or any of that. It's just the way we are. Especially men are very affected by what a woman looks like. Now I'm not getting into the philosophy of whether or not that's right or wrong. Because whether it's right or it's wrong, it just is. It just is the way we are hardwired. And we do a lot of things to get around it. So the way you feel about yourself is sometimes what you imagine others think of you. Now you're not supposed to care what people think. BS, the reason why you care what other people think is because of the way they influence your universe. You are the source, you are the center, you are the one that's supposed to have some good self-esteem and work from there and you know have your own pride and work from there and let's say you go to get a job you're on that interview and you just wear something you know beat up like that you'd wear around the house well you'll get judged for that if you stand in front of a judge and he's going to pronounce something uh to let you go or against you or whatever the way you're dressed and the way you act is going to be part of how he determines so quit saying it doesn't matter what people think. It does matter. It just matters most what you think of yourself. So what you look like, how you dress, and I'm especially addressing women, 50, 60, 70, 80. It doesn't matter that you don't look 16 or as good as you did at 30. It really doesn't matter. It matters how you feel today. Now I know you've heard that, but that is the truth. If you get up in the morning and on the days you can do this, and you fix yourself up just a little bit that way that you think it makes you look nice. Clean clothes. For me, I put little eyebrows on. I don't have much hair, so I comb it in some way that makes it look like I do. You feel better, you feel good as if you stayed in your pajamas, your old stinky torn pajamas walk around the house with a pillow and sucking your thumb, you will not have a good day. You will not have a good day at all. So the things that I'll be talking about on my channel, a lot of it will be about clothes and fashion. I do a lot of thrifting for designer clothes, all kinds of fun stuff. I do a lot of DIYs. I do a lot of recycling of clothes and such, making the clothes your own. So this is all about getting older and being older. It's not a bad thing. We gotta get over it before it's over. 
I like that. Get over it before it's over. So on that note, I will close.